Hello, what is up everybody? Day 13 of the daily upload grind. Before the video begins, can you guys please leave a like? It'd be greatly appreciated. It helps the channel grow. And I really want to hit the 50,000 subscribers. You guys have been killing it lately. The last video went insane. 100 plus likes. If we could try to get that this video, we're trying to get enough likes to get people to view the videos and stuff like that. I'm helping you guys out with the best builds, best badges, how to get badges. I'm just giving you guys full on tips on how to be better at the game and how to get the best builds on the game. So with that out of the way, also if you haven't subscribed, 90% of you guys are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Try to hit that 50,000 subscribers. Now that that's out of the way, we are going to look at the top three shooting guard builds in NBA 2K20. First up, I'm going to show you the best lockdown build for shooting guard position, okay, for the 2K20. Now, a lot of people are using lockdowns, okay? So the pie chart you want to go for a shooting lockdown is defensive shooting, okay? Now, with this build, you want to go with the 88 speed. So you want to have the maximum amount of speed with the vertical, with the strength. It looked right there. It's best of all worlds right there with 88 speed, 86 XL, 76 vert, and 59 strength, okay? Next, we want to do this, okay? We want to have at least five finishing badges. So we're going to put upgrade up. Close shot, a driving lab, a driving dunk, and then this has standing dunk up to a 35. You don't want to go any No, we're going to go down a little bit. I'm going to get it just to, just to five finishing badges, which is at 27, okay? Once you hit five finishing badges, that is enough. With five finishing badges, you get gold, contact finisher, your giant slayer, and any fancy footwork or your consistent finisher, whatever you guys really want. Next, want to upgrade your shooting all the way max. Have your maximum of 18 shooting badges. So put it down to that. So you got the max of 18 shooting badges, okay? You get your catch and shoot. I'm going to show you what badges to put on in a second. Because a lot of guys are telling me in the comment section, what badges should I put on for which build? So right now, I'm going to show you. For the defense, you can try to max out everything in the defense, okay? That's what we want to try to do for defense. Now that we've got seven left over, we've got 21 defensive badges. Now what you can do, you can either get... You can't really get any more finishing badges. No, it's up to you. I'm going to put it on my ball control, okay? Because when I'm dribbling and I don't want to get stripped every single time, that's why I'm going to put it on my ball control, okay? So look at the badge spread right there. It's pretty good. I like it. 5 finishing, 18 shooting, 21 playmaking for a lockdown. Incredible, man. Next, for the body shape, as I said, it is all aesthetics. It doesn't really matter. Just the way you, guy, you want your guy to look. In 2K21, they should actually make the body shapes do something in NBA 2K21. Hopefully, they do. Maybe. Now for the height, I'm thinking six foot five or six foot six, to be real with you guys. Now it's pretty hard to look six foot six to six foot five. You lose a little bit, you lose one in your three ball, you lose a couple of your driving dunk, okay? But you are a shooting guard guarding your point guards. So would you rather be a six foot six or six foot five? It is up to you guys, but for my, my personal opinion, I'm going to go 6 foot 5 because I think that is perfect height because most point guards are 6 2, 6 3, maximum 6 4. There might be a couple of point guards that are 6 5, like a slashing playmaker, but you're a perimeter lockdown. You've got more defensive badges, you're stronger than them, stuff like that. That's why I really want to go with that. Now, for the way, it's just a little bit iffy here. If you want to go minimum, normal, but I always go minimal with every single playmaking build I go with, but you can go up a little bit to 180 so you get that little. It's not really that worth it there. So I'm going to go minimum weight for my lockdown. But I'm going to go 180 actually. 180 pounds, 5 pounds above minimum. The only reason I'm doing that is so I don't have to lose. I get one extra strength, which the one extra strength can help out in the long run, okay? Now with the wingspan, I always look to go maximum wingspan for these builds. But if you go maximum wingspan, it is, you lose a little bit of 3 over 77 mid. But your steal and block goes up, okay? With a 76-3 at an 83 ball at 99, that is all you really need. So I'm thinking going max wingspan for this build, because you are a lockdown, remember, and you want to get a lot of steals, a lot of blocks, but a lot of rebounds, stuff like that. That is why I'm going to go maximum, maximum wingspan on this build. Now, for the takeover, it is personal preference, always personal preference, what you guys want to have. I've got on the channel, what is the best way, best uh, takeover in NBA 2K20, go check that out. So, you want it sharp or lockdown? I'm going to go lockdown, but if you want to have sharp, it's up to you guys, okay? Personal preference, go ahead, do whatever you guys want. I'm just giving you my personal opinion. You are a Victor Oladipo, Drew Holiday, or Richard Hamilton. You know, Rip Hamilton was a, de a demon in the back of the day. But you got perimeter lockdown. Now, a lot of people have been asking me what badges to put on, watch bills, and make, and stuff like that. So, here today, I'm going to show you 
in this one. I've got three builds for you today. This is the first build on the list, okay? Always want to go to 99 just in case you want to test it out. It doesn't really, can't really test it that much. But you got your gold catcher finishing, your bronze giant slayer, and then your bronze consistent finisher. That's what I would put on personally, but it's up to you guys. Reason to put contact finisher on because it helps you make contested layups, stuff like that. Makes you hit consistent finisher, makes you hit your late release layups, and the giant slayer makes you hit layups over taller opponents. So that's why I'm going to go with this. Now, shooting, always tell everyone go shooting, catch and shoot silver or bronze, okay? It's up to you, personal preference. I wouldn't go higher than silver because I don't really think it does much of a difference, in my opinion. Then you want to go silver corner specialist. Don't want to go higher than that because Silver Corner Specialist is the best. 2K Labs did a video one a while ago. It doesn't really give you much of an increase, like 1 or 2% to goal, and then 1 or 2 plus. So it's plus 4% plus of making the shot on Hall of Fame. But I don't think 2 badge points is worth that. Then you want your Hot Zone Hunter, Range Extender, Quick Draw. Now for me, I'm going to go Silver Deadeye. Hear me out on this. Because you are a lockdown, right? And you're sitting in the corner. If you have Deadeye on, they have a late contest. So you're going to make the shot more than not, all right? Right? That's why I'm going to go Silver Deadeye. So that's the badge spread I would go with this build, okay? My personal preference, you can change it if you guys want to. You don't agree, you don't agree. Now for this, I don't really know what you want. I'm just going to go Bronze Quant, Quick First Step. Doesn't really matter. You only got one player making badge anyway. Now the defensive badges, you want Hall of Fame Clamps. Hall of Fame Intimidator. I'm going to go Hall of Fame Interceptor. I might go down to Gold. The reason why Interceptor is because I'm a lockdown, right? I'm going to be reading the lanes. I'm going to be in the lanes, reading them every single time, and want to get the steal when I'm reading them lanes. I want to go Silver Rim Protector because just in case you're on the center, you want to have a good chance of, of getting the block. Bronze Rebound Chaser just in case I'm on the legend, on the legend, on the center or a big opponent, right? I want to get that, want to get that layer, uh, that rebound. Sorry. Now with these ones, I want to go Chase Down Artist Bronze or Silver. Again, just in case you have to guard the paint. Pick Dodger Hall of Fame because you will go, be going through a lot of screens. And then pick Pocket on Bronze. That is the badge spread I should go with this build. Tell me in the comment section down below what you th think of this build. Let's go on to the second build. Alright guys, let's go on to the second build on the Shooting Guard list. Now this one is a really, really good builder, man. Okay, man. This build is literally a demigod build in NBA 2K20. You can literally do everything. It's going to have contact dunks. You can have your 86 ball control. You can have great shooting. You can have everything you really want on this build. So first up, we're going to go with the shooting, no, the defending, playmaking pie chart. Okay, now hear me out on this one. Have a look at your ball control. Look at your driving dunk. Wait till I show you what happens when I upgrade him fully. Now, with this, I want to go with this pie chart, okay? I want to have the best of every world. 86 XL, 88 speed, 74 strength, and the 87 vertical, man. 87 verts to get them dunks, the contact dunks. You want the speed, 88 speed. You're as fast as a point guard. Your strength, you can get good screens, you can get good box outs on screens if you really on rebounds, I mean if you really need to. And you'll be able to bully any point guard on the court. Like literally. It's it's wait till, wait till I upgrade him a little bit. This is literally Michael Jordan on NBA 2K20. First you want to upgrade all the way to get 12 finishing badges. Okay, to do this, you want to go all the way up to this exact point. Don't want to get any higher than 41 on the standing dunk. So max close shot, max layup, and max driving dunk. And then we're going to go with a 41 standing dunk, okay? So with this, have a look. you got your good close shot. You do your close shot phase. You want to cheese a little bit. Good driving lap. you got your contact dunks. Now, remember, I'm going to change the height and stuff. So we'll look at what happens after I change the height. Now, we're going to go with a 72 mid-range, okay? So you can hit the mid-ranges at a high clip. Now, with a three ball, I'm going to go up to a 55 just for now. I might change it up a little, a little bit. And then go max on both of these. So we've got nine shooting badges so far, okay? Nine shooting badges is pretty good. Twelve finishing badges. Now I want to do max everything in this category by passing accuracy. Go down to 85 so we can get the actual name that I want. Now, you've got 20 playmaking badges. I'm going to show you where to put on them in a second. But 20 playmaking badges on this build for a shooting guard. You are literally a point guard, but better, bigger, and stronger, okay? Now, for the defense, you want to go perimeter lockdown, perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal... And then you block to a 65. You have got 12 defensive badges. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to upgrade my thing and go up to 13 defensive badges, okay? So, with 13 defensive badges, you are literally a demon on this game, man. This is what my badge spread is going to look like. I may upgrade this just a little bit more just to have a bit of a strength standing note. But, we have a 12 finishing, 9 shooting, 20 playmaking with 13 defensive badges. 
This build is absolutely disgusting, man. Look at that. Next, we're going to go with the body shape. As I said, personal preference, we're going to get defined. Now, with the height, I'm thinking 6 foot 5 or 6 foot 6. Now, hear me out on this one. Now, if I'm 6 foot 6, I can guard the small forward, point guard, shooting guard, and maybe this not really the center. You can maybe guard the center if you're a really good player. But 6 foot 6, you are literally a demon, man. You lose 5 in your ball control, but remember, at 99 overall, you'll be able to get that back up, okay? Just remember that. So, with that in mind, 6'6 six six doesn't seem that bad, does it? So, we're going to get 6'6. Six six. Now, for the weight, I'm going minimum weight. 180 pound weight, okay? That is the minimum weight. That's what I'm going to go with. So, my lateral quickness goes up by plus 3, but your strength does go down a little bit. But, we're going to go with, the, with this. Now, remember, as I said, you can't really have the ball control to 85 since I want to touch everything. Since you are a bit of a defensive build... I would go max wingspan, but I'm thinking one one or two below. I'm really thinking one below max wingspan, just in case. That's what I'm thinking right now. One below max wingspan for this build. Now, hear me out. You're going to get a lot of steals, a lot of blocks. But at the same time, you're not losing any three, are you? So, I'm going to go max wingspan on this one, okay? After a little bit of decision, I'm going to go max wingspan on this build. Now, with the takeover, I'm going to go with playmaking, man. Now, playmaking will increase your ball control, so as soon as you have that unlocked, you will be able to have every dribble move in the ball, okay? You have that, you get plus 10 into your ball control, so you will have an 87 ball handling on this build, okay? That is incredible. So, playmaking takeover for this build, and this build is actually called a facilitating finisher. You are Michael Jordan on NBA 2K20. This build is Michael Jordan, and I really highly recommend you guys make this build if you want a shooting guard build. Now... Let's have a look at the build, the badges that you guys should equip onto this build. Of course, I want to go 99 overall. But with the finishing badges, contact finisher, gold. Fancy footwork, gold. Consistent finisher, giant slayer, bronze. Acrobat, bronze. Just in case, I was talking about acrobat in another video. Because acrobat helps you out making them baseline reverse layups. The baseline reverse. Like, if you accidentally tap X or square twice when you're going for a layup... The acrobat will help you make that layup. If you always miss that, miss that layup like I usually did, I put acrobat on and fixed it. Now, relentless finisher silver, and then slithery finisher bronze. Now, of course, you can change the badges to how you want, but this is what I recommend. Okay, it's up. This is just my personal opinion. Silver catch and shoot, silver corner. I want gold quick draw. I'm gonna take down catch and shoot down to silver, to bronze, and get rid of corner specialist and put that on hot zone hunter. So they are the badge spreads I'm going to go with. Now, Hot Zone Hunter is going to help me hit all my, spot, my Hot Zone shots. If you have hot zone, Cold Zones, Hot Zone Hunter negates Hot Zone. They go negates the Cold Zone, sorry. But that is my shooting badges. With the playmaking badges, I want to go with Dimer, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Space Creator, Ankle Breaker. Might go, ankle, might go Space Creator down to Scold, and then Unpluckable right there. That is my badge spread. Now, of course, I would change it up a little bit. And maybe put Ankle Breaker down to that and put my Bail Out on. That's what I'm thinking about the playmaking badges. Of course, change it up to how you guys want to. But that's what I recommend for this build. Now, Clamps, Hall of Fame. Intimidator, Hall of Fame. Interceptor, Bronze or Silver. I'm going to go Bronze right now. Rim Protector, Chase Down Artist, Rebound Chaser. And then we're going to go with Pick Dodger Bronze or Silver. Oh, I might have, don't even need Rebound Chaser. We're going to go with Silver Rim Protector on this build. They are the badges I recommend for this build, and this is actually my favorite build on the list so far. Let's go on to the third and final build on the list. Made this far in the video, please leave that like. It helps the channel out, and it helps it grow. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 43,000 subscribers. Anyway, guys, let's go on to the third and final build. All right, guys, let's go on to the third and final build on the list. Now, with this build, this is my Kobe Bryant build, okay, for shooting guard position, okay? I might make a video when I hit Legend, which Legend will come in a couple of weeks. But... This is the third and final spot. Another one. This is probably my second favorite. The first one was the the first one was my third favorite. Second was my second favorite, and this is my favorite build on the BA2K20 because it's Kobe Bryant, my favorite player of all time. Now we're gonna go with shooting, finishing, pie chart. Okay, with this build. Next, we want to go with the physicals. I was looking at max speed 85, but remember Kobe wasn't the fastest player. He was the most best mentality player. He was the hardest working player of all time. So we're going to go with 81 speed, but we're going to have a good vertical. So we're going to go with 81 speed and 89 vertical on this build. The 89 vertical is going to make you catch a lot of bodies like you used to do back in the day. Now with the badges, 
with the finishing, we go max close shot, max driving layup, and max driving dunk. 14 finishing badges. I'm going to show you what to put on them in a second. 14 finishing badges on this build. Incredible, again, because you are a shooting guard. Remember, you can play point guard on this build if you guys want. It's up to you guys. Now, I'm going to go max everything until I have 21 shooting badges. 21 shooting badges. Again, you can do a lot with this build. 21 shooting with an 83 and 80 mid. Incredible for this build. Next, with the ball control, we're going to go 79. And we're going to go max. We're going to go into a 79 just so we have the name. But if you really want more finish playmaking badges, I think 13 playmaking badges would be perfect for this build, in my opinion. I don't think you really need any more than that for a shooting guard build. Next, we want to go with the defense. We want to go max everything here. So we have that four defensive badges so far, with five defensive badges, okay? That is pretty good. Five defensive badges is pretty good. You don't really need that much more if you're a shooting guard, to be on my, my opinion. Now, it's up to you guys. You want to put another finishing. I might go with a another finishing. Just, just because I really think finishing is like one of the highest, the best things to do in this game with this build, like with any shooting guard build or anything. And then let's max that out. So we have 15 finishing, 21 shooting, 13 playmaking with five defensive badges. Pretty good for a shooting playmaker, okay? Remember, I've made you three different builds with three different pie charts. So next we want to go with, I'm going to go with Define. Define's my favorite body shape of all time. I don't know, I just like the way it looks and everything like that. Now with the height, of course, you already know I'm going six foot six for Kobe Bryant, man. Kobe Bryant was a six foot six guard because I'm making the Kobe Bryant build. Now again, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to go six foot six. So I'm making the Kobe Bryant build in this build in this build video. Sorry for the mumbling a lot because I do, do do this all in one take. Next, I'm going to go minimum weight for this build again because again I don't really need. I need to be sp speedy, fast. I need to be quick off the feet. Bang. Now, with the wingspan, this is a bit iffy, okay? Now, I'm just trying to test out the wingspans. I had a look for a little bit today, and I'm thinking minimum wingspan, maybe one above minimum. If you go minimum, I always go one above minimum with every single build that I have. Just my personal preference, and I really think you guys should too, because it helps me get steals, helps me get blocks, helps me play defense and stuff like that. That's all it is. Because that one-inch vertical wingspan can help you out in the long run. Now, with the takeover... Kobe Bryant's a shock creator, so I'm going to shock creating takeover just because it's Kobe Bryant, okay? So this build is called a three-level scoring point guard, okay? Now, you can either have two names with this build. You can be a scoring machine, or you can be a three-level scorer. That is just up to you guys what name you want, and I'm going to go with the three-level scoring name. doesn't really matter. But that is the build, man. Let's go to the badges, what you should put on. If you made this far in the video, please leave that like. If, this video, if you made any of these builds, tell me how they went on the park. If you want, what type of videos do you guys want? If you made this fun the video, or if you wouldn't mind, if you guys could tell me what videos you guys would like to see. I've got some bangers in the way. I just need you guys. To, I'm going to keep daily uploading until I hit 50k subs. I'm not stopping until I hit this 50k. Nothing stopping me from hitting it. But as you guys can see in the background while I talk to you guys, I really want to hit this 50k really badly, man. It's the only thing I, I dream about and stuff like that. It's the only thing I really want in this world, to be honest. So... You guys could please help me out with just leaving a like with all my videos if you watch my videos leave a like leaving a comment helps as well as well as subscribing man because we're trying to hit this 50k as soon as we can before the end of the year and i know you guys could help me do it do it really easy and super fast i just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and support in the last video it was really helpful in the last couple of build videos I haven't been doing that well but i do appreciate you guys watching the videos even if you guys just watch the videos it still helps me out but if you guys could follow me on Twitch and Twitter, because it helps me out a little bit, because I'm going to start streaming again daily when I hit Legend. At the moment, I can't really stream because I'm playing. I'm just rep grinding. Rep grinding is just really boring. Everyone knows rep grinding is really boring on this game to watch. So I don't really want to bore you guys to the full extent that you guys really need. So that is today's video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.